people from the other side welcome to my channel here and today is going to be a hollow taco manicure with a couple polishes from the new collection lost in space if you haven't seen it i had i did an unboxing video of the polishes with the collection box which is a limited edition but the polishes are not limited edition and what I'm going to do is I'm picking, and if you have seen it, there's two top, top polishes in that video I told you that I quite enjoy. And I wanted to be my first one I do some nail art with together. There is a third one I said I quite like, but that one's going to be done another time. I'm going to use the ones I really, really want to try that I even was intrigued by them before I even got the polishes in my hands. Now we're going to see them get put on my nails together. And I just can't, can't wait to do that. The two polishes that I'm going to pick, and if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button so you can know and get notified about my videos. And that, if you want to get notified, hit the bell. So we are going to get into it. One of the two polishes we're going to use is this one, Solar, Sol Solar Mission. This pinkyish, very like interesting, color with a goldy in, inside it with some hollow because they all have a little bit of hollow in it and it's kind of like the fallen flag topper that i have that i use occasionally so yeah that's that one and then the other one to go into the design as well i'm only going to use two polishes this is this more gray undertone with a little bit of green this is the alien invasion one. Oh, i love the names that she gets and picks for their poly for her polish collections very very interesting always interesting and that makes this manicure very very interesting it's like i'm taking my mission solar mi my mission but then along the way or maybe whatever the aliens are invading the mission are in the aliens are invading the mission yes they are that is unintentional that the names and that it's making it that kind of manicure. So I guess it's a alien invasion of a mission Manny here. So let's get into it and get this invaded alien Manny to take place. With a nice close up of this color that I'm going to use. And the second one, these two awesome colors of them all and everything else. So here we go, we're putting on the first coat. I'm putting on the base color, like one of each color on each of the nails, and then I will do some gradient in a few minutes. So now I am putting on the green, kind of grayish one, you know. Alien Invasion, woo! Already did the other one. So now we're gonna use a brush. Yes, usually for these gradient ones. Potentially, unless you want to dab it on, but I'm going to use one of these hollow taco brushes I just got. So we're going to use this flare brush. So here we go with the first of the two colors. So with what I'm doing, you do want to make sure both colors are wet. So don't work too slow. Work pretty fast because this is polish, not gel. So we want to meld the colors in between to get the gradient where they are lining up so that's what I'm going to do with this brush as you see I'm flaring them into each other to get that and now I'm doing a different gradient which is top to bottom and then instead of side to side and now there is some color there but like I said both need to be wet so there we go I'm just kind of I'm flailing it into each other flare 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 to the flare 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 Lurstons and all that I didn't have fully enough to flare it so I got it just a little bit more so you can do what you want and just make sure you don't make it too thick and just do to your heart's content whatever works for you and whatever you like and now I'm just gonna get it all in with my top coat I don't want it to smudge more than I've done so I'm using my gel like top coat which is bizarre but yeah the thicker top coat to hold it all in and get that sparkle to come to life and then I wanted to add a little bit of gems so that's what I'm doing. So I got my kiss glue mwah, mwah, out here. I'm gonna have. The, I'm choosing one of these interesting white kind of pearly gems like this, and then hold that down with my tool. Yeah, I'm using my little tool that holds them up with the piece of you know. Uh, yeah, and now I'm putting these little ones that are kind of similar color uh, around the bigger gem. So these are like little pearly essence 
gems around it. And I thought that would look kind of nice for the accent kind of nails. Just give it a little oomph. So I wanted to have some fun. Oh yeah, I needed a little more glue. So yeah, just put a little bit more if you need to because this glue does dry pretty fast. So you got to have to work fast like you do with this whole manicure pretty much. Oh no, what the F? Now it's not giving me glue. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Got some more glue out of it. And now we're just topping it all off because you want to do that to hold it all in. Just using my other top coat that's thinner because I don't really need the other one now. Just topping them all up. And then I just did this other one in the middle to kind of go with it with one little gem. So there they all nice and done. If you enjoyed this, please, please come back and I'll see you next time. Sparkle, sparkle. Bam! Well, there we go with my nails all finny and yay. Yes, they are. And yes, I added some gems. I just couldn't resist. After doing the gradient with my new brushes that I must say, I give it a huge thumbs up. Loving those Holotaka brushes as well. So hope you love my Holotaka Mandy. Yes, of course, my gems are not from Holotaka. There's some stuff like on eBay. Maybe a little bit on Amazon. Just like some packs of little gems for my nails that I've had for a really good long, long time. Yes, gems last me a really, really long time. And on my dominant hand, I just did a simple, simple one. I thought that was a little bit better to do just so I don't have any too many nags. And then I just went a little more crazy on this one. Kind of made something that looks like a flower. If I do say so, well, the color scheme looks nice. Don't mind my naked thumb. I just haven't gotten too around to painting them. Sometimes this one is the last one to get painted because I use them to help me clean up my skin if I get polish on it. So there's not much point in painting them just yet. Or I'll leave an old manicure on and stuff like that as well. But there we go, the awesomeness. I do think that the gradient worked pretty, pretty well. A little easier with the top and bottom grading it into itself than the side ones, but it still worked for the most part. And as always, I always do the same pretty much exactly, except that I didn't do as crazy of gems on my other hand as well. You just don't see me recording this hand. That would probably be pretty hard to do the gradient. So yeah, I gotta say, these two colors together are mwah, mwah, mwah. Yes, they get a Mm-hmm. Very interante. And yes, one of the last full-on holo taco manicures. I did do a gradient as well, but I just couldn't resist trying the trying out these. And I did want to use both the colors. And I want to do some kind of nail art. You try to make it simple. So that was my idea again. But yeah, I will do some nail art with the holo taco collections or the new one and stuff. But and not a gradient. I just want to do a gradient right now because it just seemed interesting and all else. And this is and just to go a little crazy with my gems a little bit. So with all that in mind, thank you for coming here to this video of uh, videos. If you enjoyed it, please give it a huge thumbs up. I thank you for you guys on the other side. Till next time, sparkle, sparkle, 